Well, I haven't made a video in a while, so I uh, thought I'd make a video here, show you uh, how I'm doing on my uh, bandsaw mill, and uh, how well it's cutting. Uh, right here is a, a beach board that, that I just cut, and I just wanted to show you how smooth it is, you know. Uh, it's almost like it's been plain, you know, so you can see a few little saw marks there. You know, I mean, just barely. I mean, I can't, you can just barely feel them with your fingers, probably. I don't know how much it is, but it's very, very smooth, you know. Here's another one over here. It's, it's kind of drying right there. That's dampness there, but this is another beach, kind of bad spot there. Anyway, kind of pretty slick, ain't it? I think. Anyway, yeah. I didn't have the guide drill loose. And I'll show you the blade over here. I got a mess going over here. Eh? I got wood piled up everywhere. But, uh, need to clean up, looks like, the whole place. But uh, anyway. Here is my blade. Uh, I haven't really, you know, designed it quite. I, I cut all this with the guides being fairly loose. Look how how loose that is. And it cut like that. I mean, let's see, I got all kinds of play in it. I just got these guides on here just to make sure they don't fly off, you know, the blade, but. Uh, Anyway, uh, just wanted to show you how it's cutting, and it uh, seems to be doing pretty good. So, anyway, that's the uh, latest update, I think. Uh, I can't think of anything else I've been doing. I haven't really been doing too much. Just piddling around here. And uh, I was building some furniture, selling it, making a few dollars, trying to get my money back out of the sawmill. Oh, I know, I'm going to... This uh, motor here that I have in this parapet is 25 to 1, and it's almost too fast. It goes pretty fast forward and reverse, and uh, the guy that I bought it off of at eBay, he's got a 50 to 1, so I'm going to put one over here, and I'm going to put one on that side, I believe, here in the future, not too far, maybe in a few weeks. So that it pulls, you know, at the same rate, and I'm hoping that I'll even get a smoother cut because, you know, I found out that building this furniture and stuff that I've been building, it's nice to have as smooth and as close a tolerance as you can get, you know, that way you don't have to do too much planing or sanding or, you know, or whatever, you know, as long as it's really like, almost like it's been planed right off the sawmill is the best way, so that's my objective. Uh, because, you know, if you got to plane it and all this, that takes up a lot of time, you know, a lot of time. Let me tell you, it just, it takes up more time than probably saw in the wood. So, you know, if you can eliminate all the planing and sanding and just all get it done on one, uh, and then we'll put these ranches back here. So I'm getting it where it's pretty, pretty slick. Let's look, go look at some more boards here. Well, that one there is all wet. But, I mean, this probably don't look like a good board at all with all the bark. But, I mean, you know, you trim some off. Or, I mean, some people like live edge boards or whatever. But uh, anyway, that's uh, what I'm up to right at the moment. So uh, I guess that's about the end of this video. So uh, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye.